Hello everyone, welcome to West Connect, connecting you with art of data visualization and storytelling. My name is Sagar Kapoor, I'm part of customer success team at Tableau. So we are at the last episode of a season two at WizConnect. So today is our 49th episode. So WizConnect was founded with the help of one of the Tableau ambassadors in India, Devya Bharti, and we have grown from there, right? So this year we were able to go ahead and had 2000 subscribers to our WizConnect cha YouTube channel. Go ahead, subscribe to it. Some great content waiting for you. We have a LinkedIn group. Go ahead, join that group, connect with each other and learn from each other and follow the hashtag WizConnect on Twitter and connect with the community to get all the updates about WizConnect. With that, let me go ahead and introduce our speaker for today. It's a pleasure and honor to welcome Alexander Mo. He's a Tableau Zen master. Alexandra is, Alexander is a veteran data analyst and visualization expert with a particular interest in efficient calculation techniques. As a prolific blogger with more than 250 posts filled with tips and tricks, tutorials and templates. He has been a Tableau social ambassador since 2016. Alexander is extremely talented with Tableau desktop, Tableau server, data preparation. He's also a top contributor to the Chinese Tableau community. When he's not at work, Alexander likes hiking, travel and visiting. So without further ado, I will hand it over to Alexander to talk about creating better vis using pi and radial charts. Alex, over to you. Hey, uh, thanks, thanks, Singer. Yeah, um, it, it's a it's a great pleasure uh, for me. Let me just start my uh, let me start my uh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Let me, uh, let me start it. Um, so I, I think you guys see me, right? Yeah, I can see you, Alex, now, yeah. Okay, great. Now, let me share my uh, screen. Perfect, I can see your tablet now, yeah. You're good to go. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, wait a sec, I have a, uh, I have a little, uh, just a, a few pages. Oh, yeah, I think I have. Yeah. So there, there's actually um, uh, some kind of controversy about uh, using pie chart in data visualization. Yeah, um, and uh, uh, it is true. Yeah. Uh, so let's start from this one. And the uh, pie chart is uh, not a particularly good or ideal for comparison purposes. Okay, because it's uh, hard for for viewer to discern the difference between the slices. So which one is bigger, which one is smaller, uh, it's uh, really hard to tell, okay? So we have to use it uh, very carefully, yeah, very carefully. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with a certain technique, we can compensate for, for the lack of um, clarity uh, about slices, okay, between the slices, yeah. And uh, the good thing about the 
pie chart is, uh, it's uh, something people like, okay? It's, uh, it's pleasing to the eyes. People like uh, round object more than square object, okay? Um, and uh, it's also compact, yeah, it's also compact uh, in some way, okay? And the best, best practice uh, of pie chart or, or the radio chart um, is first to sort it, okay, to sort them and uh, sort the slices so we see the order uh, in slice. Uh, so the order, okay, is part of the structure of the data, okay, that's the kind of insight we always want to show people and to let the viewer see uh, immediately which one is the bigger, which one is smaller. Uh, by sorting them, we compensate for, for the pie chart, for using pie chart uh, to, to display the differences between the slices and label them. And uh, don't use too many slices, okay? Um, and uh, make it big, okay? If it's a small, it's, it's uh, even more difficult to tell the differences. Then use color uh, appropriately. Okay, yeah, that, that's about it. That, that's uh, something I, I kind of want to uh, summarize. Uh, so this is a, this is a, let me start from scratch. Okay. Let me okay. So design a pie chart is uh, not that uh, hard. Okay. So make it big. Okay. And uh, use sales for the angles. Okay. And you see if, if it's a pie chart like this, it's really hard to tell uh, which one is big, which one, you know, between the green and the gray category, it's hard to tell the difference. However, if we sort them, okay, and uh, according to the sales and uh, in a descending way, so now for the viewer, it is sure that the gray one is bigger than the Green one, okay, this category. Okay, then by labeling them and by uh, showing the percentage, okay. So, you know, yeah, we at least know, uh, you know, this one is the number one, number two, and number three, number four, number five. Etc. So this is already better than your uh, than the initial pie chart. Okay, uh, if without sorting, it's really hard to see uh, uh, the differences between uh, all these categories. Okay, yeah, especially the gray and the green category, right? And for the this one and this one and this one, it's really hard to tell. Yeah because their differences are really small. Uh, with um, with uh, the sorting, okay, we know much better. Um, and um, so this is a, just a simple way to do it. Okay, with the sorting, it's already a lot better. Uh, however, we can also uh, use uh, a single color, okay, so this, is a, uh, a is a pie chart use a single color okay this makes it uh, a lot uh, stylish okay and also we can see the uh, the differences between the categories so which one is bigger which one is smaller uh, so we, we know you know in some way okay this is a, uh, this will help uh, the viewers to understand uh, the differences between categories. However, how to do this, actually? 
So here you see we are using a continuous uh, color instead of uh, instead of uh, uh, categorical color. Okay. So let me do it again to show you how to do this. Yeah. So when I remove the color and the, all this is gone, it's a single, the same color. And let's put the sum of sales to color by pressing the alt, alt key, okay? So we can make a copy of the same, uh, sum of sales. Okay, uh, so, so here, we can see that uh, the categories are actually, um, oh, sorry. Okay. So here's the, yeah, so the slides. So you can see this, when, you, when we use uh, sum of sales uh, as, a as a continuous measure for the color and um, we, it's very hard to tell the difference, okay? Because this this two has a very similar sales, and uh, it's hard to tell the difference between these two slices. Yeah. So then, what should we do? Let's instead of use sum of sales, we can use uh, rank. Okay, which is a table calculation. So subcategory. So now it's a, a lot better, okay. And uh, maybe we want to change the color, you know, what I like. Uh, I like this. Apply. And I also like the reverse one actually. So this is another uh, another way to color the pie chart, uh, which makes it uh, look more stylish than, than just this one, okay? So this is a, just a kind of a everybody's doing, right? Uh, and this, using the rank to color the slices, we also see the differences, okay? We can see there's uh, a, slight differences between these two slices. So we see the, 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 the differences uh, between all these slices. So we understand this one is the biggest one, this is one the second uh, largest, and the, this is the third one, etc. And we know, we, we can understand the inside, uh, the structure of the data. So, and here, this is a, another way to color it, just a black and white. Uh, it's also kind of monochrome, okay, uh, black and white Pi 2, you know, which uh, makes it, uh, and it looks uh, better than, uh, <laughs> I think, than this kind of uh, chart, yeah, right? Um, so, so we can, you know, make the visualization uh, better, okay? We can show the, 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 the insight regarding the data better. Yeah. Okay, so these are some of the techniques I, I use uh, to, to make a better pie chart <laughs> for visualization, uh, for understanding the data. Uh, it, it may not be as good as, uh, say, in terms of uh, showing the differences uh, as, say, a bar chart. But uh, as, you know, this is uh, much better than the default one, right? Okay, uh, another example is to So someone said something. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is also by rank, yes. Yeah, it is also, it is also by rank, yes. Use the rank uh, uh, 
So this is rank, only that the color is by, is, uh, is using the black and white. Also, I use uh, 17 steps uh, because I know the category is 17, yeah, but I don't have to use that, yeah. uh, which uh, should uh, still be the same, yeah, yes. Just reverse the color. Yeah. It's a sequential kind of color, yeah. So, uh, next example is a variation, well, of, uh, of uh, well, it is a pie chart. Uh, so sometimes, you know, people like to have the label inside. How to do that? You know, because Tableau doesn't uh, uh, right, always have the labels outside of a pie chart, right? Have you ever tried to make it inside? It's uh, almost impossible. Uh, and now let me show you how to do that. Yeah. Again, uh, let's uh, create a pie chart. Okay, and make it big. Uh, so just type zero and it, Carriage, carriage return and uh, zero. So now we have two, yeah. And uh, so let's uh, make one bigger. Uh, bigger, yeah, okay. So, and in this one, let's uh, press control and drag it into label. So now this guy has a, has a, oh, yeah, I, I forgot to put the sales into angle. Okay, now we, you know, it's in all of them. And the press control and the drag this into label. Uh, and the make it a percentage. Let's format it to be, yeah. So now this one has no label and this one has a label and the label is uh, outside of the pie chart. What do we do? Let's do dual axis. Yeah. And the, uh, um, Okay, let's get rid of the measure names. Okay, let's get rid of the measure names from the color. Voila, so now we got our uh, our labels inside the pie chart, uh, which, uh, which is actually the overlap of two pie chart. Okay, so one pie chart is, you know, both use category for color. Okay, and the, and the one, the smaller one has uh, labels. Also, there's a little trick here. Uh, if you, if you, if we don't like the, the position of this one, we can click and drag this one to wherever we like, okay? And uh, well, this is a good uh, one, the chart is uh, static, right? If it's uh, dynamic, uh, then we don't really know uh, how how to position this uh, uh, this label, okay? And the 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 pies, I mean, Tableau will place the labels automatically. All right, uh, and. Uh, So next, I want to show you how to create um, a uh, a donut chart. Probably a lot of you already uh, know how to do it, but uh, some may not. But this is a, a chart that's uh, also uh, repeat what? Repeat the label. Could you repeat 
charging the label? What is that? What does that mean? What is the charging the label? Reposition the label. Oh. Well, you just uh, drag it, okay? Click it and uh, drag it wherever you like, okay? You know, somewhere you can, you see? I can drag it here, right? Yeah, and drag it. You know, this is a way to fine tune the, the label's position. Okay, donut chops. Let me do it from uh, the beginning. Yeah. Category and pie chart and sales for the angle. Uh, we want it to be big zero. Okay, another zero. So this. Uh, Create two charts. Let's make one bigger. Okay. And uh, the other one, actually, we do not want color there. Okay. We do not need it. Uh, we want to make this a label. Okay. Now, dual axis. Okay. And synchronize. Yeah. So it's almost almost there, uh, but we can change the color of the middle, the, the circle in the middle, yeah, to be white, okay. And we can adjust the, the size of the, 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 the smaller circle to, to adjust to the, to get the kind of size of the donuts um, as good as uh, we like, right? And, uh, now we can uh, add the label of the category and the sales. Uh, and the percent of total. Yeah, we want to format it to be voila. Uh, so this is. Um, this is a, a, a nice, uh, a nice uh, donut chart. Yeah. So, which is lighter, right? Uh, there is a, there is a, um, a kind of measure in data visualization, which is called the, uh, called the, uh, Ink to um, that means to use do not use too many ink uh, ink to information or something like that. <laughs> There's a measure that so this compared to um, the donut chart compared to the regular pie chart, it looks lighter. Okay, a, um, another, uh, another, another chart, yeah, which is a donut chart, okay, which is a donut chart. But uh, we are not, we use this as an index, okay, uh, we use this to drive other, uh, to drive another chart. Uh, like uh, like a filter action, right? Uh, we can drive using say the months to drive the um, uh, to filter um, another chart, another bar chart, another line chart, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so this is a interesting way, just a nicer way to uh, to create an index. Okay. We can always use here the legend kind of, uh, uh, say, to drive, uh, to drive, right? But uh, we can also design a, a index chart to drive it, yeah. Um, 
indexed pi. Yeah. So let me show you how to do that. <coughs> Okay, this is a, a pie chart. Yeah. So let's uh, right drag. Okay, right drag this to the, to the column. Yeah. And uh, this month. Okay, well, I, I already I already colored them. So <laughs> It's, uh, uh, I already changed the color, so it's uh, it, it's all green, yeah. I changed all the color to the green, yeah. So let's make it big. So you see the slices are already there, yeah. But uh, it's just, uh, uh, we need to uh, show the borders. Yeah. Let's, let's show the borders. Make the border white, right? Yeah, nice, okay. So, Again, we need the two pi, okay, and uh, let's make the one of them bigger. Yeah, and the other one, uh, we don't need that, okay, and uh, let's dual axis, right, and make it uh, bigger. Uh, So, um, yeah, wait a sec. I, um, yes, actually, I need that. I, I need to uh, use the months, right drag. Uh, it's label month. Yeah, uh, I will use the short, short format. Yeah. Abbreviation, okay, yeah. and the uh, and this one, I do not want to use the border. And uh, I want to use the white for the, for the circle in the middle, okay? So here we go. So we got a index chart, index high uh, kind of circle. Uh, and uh, this is not for comparison. Okay, this is perfect for just uh, for presentation, right? Yeah? For a kind of uh, design, yeah. And, um, so that that's uh, that's uh, that's another application of this uh, pi and uh, radio uh, kind of uh, um, a. Um, application yeah so it, it can be very interesting right a very fun uh, to index your uh, your other uh, other dashboard right other sheets on the dashboard yeah. so yeah so this is uh, uh, an application now yeah. okay Uh, I, I want to show you guys another one, yeah. So this, this is a, uh, another chart that uh, I, uh, I designed, yeah. So this is a, a kind of, uh, oh, some, somebody send a message. Oh, data ink ratio. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. 
data ingress. Screen is black. Uh, do you guys uh, see my screen? No, Alex. Hey. I think your hey. your screen is not visible now. Yeah. It's it's blank. Oh, oh, I was showing uh, Tableau. Uh, let me show. Uh, let me show my uh, share. I need to show my screen instead of uh, showing Tableau. Okay. Yeah. Now so it's now back. I think you can show it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so here is another. Um, Another uh, design of, of mine. Uh, I have another camp called the Data Embassy. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is a, a kind of a hi hierarchical uh, visualization. Okay. So this is actually, so you can see. Yeah. Uh, so this is a, and the furniture. We have chairs and the tables and the bookcase and the furniture, etc. Right. So. Basically, this is the category. This is a sub category, and uh, and this is a way to use pie chart to view uh, a kind of hierarchy. Yeah, a kind of uh, uh, drop down, and you can see that uh, all the all the sub category and the a and the category are also sorted. Okay, uh, also sort. So this way we can see under this uh, category, which uh, subcategory is bigger, which one is smaller. Okay. Ah, okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yes, I have a small uh, um, I have a small YouTube channel, yeah. <laughs> so Hi everyone, there. welcome to the yeah. Yes. Today, I'm going to show you how so to this is a uh, start of the chart. Yes. chart, top of the chart, the inner one, the smaller one. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so this is just the two charts overlap each other. Okay, it's like, you know, by dual axis. Uh, so this is uh, another interesting application of uh, pie chart, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, we can show such a drill down or kind of a hierarchy. So what does he say? Yeah, today is a great addition to the dashboard where we won't highlight the other chart by years in the month. Okay, yeah, all right. Nice. Number yeah, send me a uh, message uh, when you are done. If you if it's a, if it's a public one, okay. Anyway, um, so there are also uh, some interesting applications. Uh, uh, so this is another one, but this is a little bit more uh, complex. This is a little bit more complex. Uh, this is a, a radio stacked bar. Okay, stacked bar, um, and we are designed this uh, using polygons. Okay, using polygons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, this is a bit more complex. So you can watch the videos. I have a video on this, and uh, here. Here, this is another interesting applications, okay, of of the kind of radio bar. So instead of a horizontal or vertical, uh, this is a kind of radio uh, bars. Okay, so uh, note that please always sort your your chart, whatever chart it is, okay, because uh, the order, the ranking, is information. It's very important information, okay, and uh, so it's uh, it's the kind of insight we 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 want to always provide to viewers. So this is a a 
an interesting way to show the difference, okay, between the different categories, okay, and for, and so when I say it's uh, compact, so this one is more compact than uh, regular bar chart, yeah, in some way, and it's also very interesting, yeah. And I have a video for this. You guys can go to the uh, data embassy uh, channel to to view this. Yeah. Uh, I think I have another interesting applications. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah, this one is good. This one is too interesting. So here you can see it's a regular pie chart. Okay, it's a regular pie chart, but we can, when we click any of these pie charts, we will see something magical. Voila. So it drill down to, uh, to subcategories, okay, from the category. Voila. And uh, you can see uh, I didn't sort this, so. Uh, it's my bad. Yeah, I should I should have uh, I should have uh, done it. Yeah. So I'll click this so you can see uh, you can see the subcategories. Yeah. So you know if if I don't see uh, sort it, so it's hard to tell the yellow and the red which one which subcategory is uh, is good. Uh, it, it's bigger than the other. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, using set action to do it. Okay, this is using set action to do it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I don't know how how much time do I have? Or Alex, you can take another five five to ten minutes. That's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I cannot download this one. I should, uh, and it's not saying anything. It's not saying anything. It is hard. Download. Okay. Can I use the radio chart to show sales for two years breakup by category? Um, so I'm not sure uh, what that means. Um, sales for two years breakup. But be very careful. Usually, uh, if you can, uh, if, if if you can, well, I think you can always uh, use bar chart or line chart, uh, unless there is some, uh, you know, special uh, interest, uh, uh, interesting things that you can show using uh, uh, pie chart. Then uh, use pie chart. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, uh, in the uh, inner pie shows sales for current year, and the outer pie shows sales for 
uh, previous year. Uh, yeah, I think you can do that. Uh, but uh, but um, I'm not sure how how good is that. Yeah. Okay. So here here's the. I want to show uh, what's the main trick here. Okay. Uh, How can I hide this? Okay, yeah. Um, I'll hide. So, um, so here actually, this uh, there are two. Uh, So here, actually, this are uh, two uh, two sheets, one on top of another. Okay, you see, yeah. So when I click here, so it's actually uh, that that one, the one under it is being showing. Okay, uh, so this is a driven by set action. Okay, so. So here, when I when I click here, it's uh, from sheet one and it's uh, driving sheet two. Okay, using set action. Okay, yeah. So that's a a little uh, trick. So here we have a conditional uh, subcategory. Uh, we need to create a category set. Okay, we need to create a category set just uh, by this like this, okay? And the conditional category set is like, yeah, it's like this, yeah. it's like this. If it's part of uh, this category, then show it's a subcategory, yeah. So the second, second uh, pie is in here, yeah, it's in here, yeah. Um, so uh, we we put uh, both, okay, both uh, with uh, for the color, okay. So we have the furniture and the now, okay, because because uh, we're not selecting anything yet. So uh, so so here, if we once we select one category, then all this subcategory will be turned on, okay? So, yeah, what I want to do now is actually to to sort those subcategories and sort uh, the subcategories according to field of uh, sales or Quantity or sales? Yeah, it's quantity. Okay. Yes. Uh, descending. Yeah. Okay. So now, yes. So now we can see that all the subcategory are sorted. Yeah. So, and here we have a set action. Okay. That action, so it's from sheet one, and uh, this sheet one uh, from this data source to drive this, this uh, by click, by select, drive this uh, category set, uh, and assign value to set. And, you know, once we click whatever category, this category will become the active set member. And once, we clear the selection, this will remove all the values. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what the, the set action is doing. Yeah. Okay, so, so you see now 
this is kind of drill down uh, through action. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, uh, that uh, are both. No, one is floating. Yeah, one is floating. Yeah. So actually, there's a there's a. Um, I I have a, another. Uh, Another design that is um, that is uh, yeah that is using this on a single sheet instead of a two sheet. Yeah. Anyway, so so this is a uh, this is a uh, yeah this is just showing that um, the variety of uh, designs of the uh, pie and the uh, and the radio kind of designs that uh, we can, which is which are not very complicated, uh, which can be interesting in certain cases, okay, uh, and uh, can make uh, the chart more interesting. Uh, and uh, still, well, maybe we lost uh, some of the comparison effect, but uh, it can be, uh, it's, it depends, it really depends on the cases, okay, so. Uh, in, in such cases, we still have a certain, uh, we can still visualize uh, in certain way that uh, this is a, this is a bigger than this one. Uh, if, yeah, if we don't sort them, we may not tell the differences, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. So with uh, pie chart and uh, uh, with pie chart itself, we try to make it better. Okay, uh, make it, you know, uh, make up the differences. Uh, so someone asked, the, can I drag the uh, the labels outside? Um, not exactly. Uh, we we yeah, we cannot drag it complete outside. But if you want the, want it to be outside, then there's uh, there's no uh, so it, it beat the purpose, right? Yeah. So yeah, you can yeah you can drag the outside. That's true. But it beat the purpose. And then we do not have to go through this uh, complexity to put it inside, right? Yeah. Uh, but you may have some other ideas. Yeah. Can can the track option be used to track the normal pie. Um, well, maybe, yeah, let, let, let's try, right? Let, we can try that. Um, let's uh, remove the dual axis, okay? And remove the dual axis. Uh, uh, remove this one and uh, let's uh, label it. So you may be able to drag. Yeah, we, we can drag it inside. Yeah, we can. Yeah, but uh, it will not do this automatically, right? If it's a dynamic chart, then uh, you cannot do that. Yeah. So so if it's a dynamic, uh, once the data after refresh, then then everything changes. You can do that. Yes. So basically, that's uh, my presentation today. Hello, do you guys hear me? Yes, yes, Alex, you are, you are audible. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you, Alex. So, MasterCard. Oh. Has with by yeah go ahead go ahead please okay yeah that, 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 that's basically my presentation today uh show a variety of uh, uh a way to use uh, uh pi and the radio kind of chart uh, so it can be used and it can be interesting in 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 many cases yeah but it'd be very careful you, you don't want to use every, you you don't want to use it everywhere, okay, <laughs> but uh, 
uh, be, be be careful and be selective and uh, and uh, use it uh, judiciously. Yeah. Uh, but it can be can add a variety to your uh, to your chart to your dashboard uh, and uh, yeah. So happy uh, reading. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I think thank you for that master class okay. on live charts. Thanks a lot. I think it was a great interactive session. Most of the questions you have answered on the chat itself. So we have around five minutes. If anyone has any question for Alex, please go ahead and put it into chat and happy to answer him. So Alex, I have one question in terms of your Tableau journey, right? If you want to just go ahead and talk about like how did it get started and what was the role of Tableau community in your journey? Oh, that's uh, uh, yeah. I I owe a lot to 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 the Tableau community. Uh, I uh, I think uh, you know in the early days I started in 2013, uh, and uh, I was um, I had a career change. I was I spent the previous uh, years uh, about seven years in China trying to do a startup. And uh, it didn't work out. Yeah, and uh, I came back uh, to the states, and uh, uh, and uh, I want to do something in the data business. Yeah, in what in data field, right? Data ana uh, and analysis, uh, big data. It was uh, uh, great at the time, and um, so I start to learn the Microsoft the BI stack. Uh, took uh, online classes to learn it, but uh, when I went for jobs and I found that everybody can do that. It's uh, really hard to, uh, stand in, to stand out, right? And I found that then some of the job requires Tableau. I say, hey, what is that? And uh, so I downloaded uh, uh, a, a public, uh, Tableau public and uh, hey, wow, I play with it, I really like that. Yeah, so I start uh, learning, yeah. Um, and uh, I had uh, initially I, I found uh, Andy Kribo's uh, uh, blog very very helpful. Okay, so and uh, well, when I get to a certain level, I try, I I spend a lot of time in the Tableau community forum. Okay, I was there to help people solve problems, and by solving those problems, I I learned a lot, okay, because the use cases I cannot use, um, I cannot uh, meet them uh, in in my work, right? It so ex the community form expanded my horizon. Yeah, uh, I was one of the top uh, uh, problem solvers uh, there uh, for some time. Yeah. And uh, also, I, um, I, I start to explore, um, to visualize certain things I, I like. Uh, I like to uh, visualize uh, math, okay, which is not uh, a regular use of Tableau, okay. Usually people, when they work, uh, they, they don't, uh, I mean, we don't we don't have the same problem. I just use uh, Tableau to do something uh, something weird <laughs> in, in, in certain way. Uh, okay, let me show you some of the stuff. It is. Um, So, for example, here, okay. Uh, 
Okay, so you can see uh, this is uh, a kind of a mass problem. So a there is a revolving circle. Okay, so this is seven balls. Okay, and it's forming a circle. It's uh, revolving. However, each ball is moving on a straight line. Okay, each ball is is moving on a straight line. Let's see, yeah, but uh, in total. It forms a a circle, uh, and uh, and uh, it, it's revolving. Okay, it's revolving. So, well, by visualize stuff like this, it actually expand my my horizon, my yeah, into a different uh, kind of uh, world, uh, different universe. Um, uh, it, so it helped to me to learn Tableau. Uh, in a different way, yeah. And uh, let me, which actually helped me understand what Tableau can do, okay. Uh, so, yeah. So this is a kind of a, uh, yeah, this is a, a kind of a, also, Derivative, okay. <laughs> this is derived from from the, that uh, yeah from that uh, chart. Yeah. Just just for just for fun. Yeah. And and Alex uh, George is asking you. So he is also making a career change, and he has just started with Tableau. So what will be your advice to him on that? Uh, well, um, so yeah, I think it's a, it's a really a good time to do it. Yeah, that's a for sure. Uh, and uh, I think that you you need to do a lot of the uh, exercises uh, and uh, say. You can join a lot of the public uh, community projects like uh, like uh, Makeover Monday, uh, uh, so you can learn uh, from others. But also, you you better go through some of the tutorials classes um, to have uh, the basics. Okay, to understand the basics. Yeah. Um, and uh, okay, another uh, another thing I I think I did uh, pretty uh, I think a, a, a good practice is uh, I I chronicle I blog uh, my 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 learning okay yeah uh, and uh, so I have a little. Well, I have a website. I have a blog. Okay, so I whatever I learned, I I I write it down. Okay, I write it down. And writing is uh, another way of learning. Sometimes I can do it, but uh, if I have to write it down, uh, I have to make, organize my thoughts. One more time in a more clear way, uh, and uh, which uh, forced me to think it uh, hard uh, because I want to. I need to explain it right to different uh, to to uh, to whoever uh, come to this blog, uh, so that they can repeat what I do. Okay. Um, so writing is another way of learning. Yeah, uh, and I start to make some videos, and that's one more way of learning. Yeah, because you know even I can write it down, but uh, using you know to to do it to explain it orally, uh, that's uh, that's another 
uh, that's another challenge. Yeah. Um, so learn it. Uh, also, yeah, find the because vi data visualization is uh, it's a broad actually. It's a tool, right? It's a tool, but uh, it can be applied to any uh, area, uh, any co any walk of life. Okay. Uh, so it can be climate, it can be uh, sports, uh, you know, find the, your niche. You want to visualize something, that just go for it. Yeah. You find the data set, uh, you can find a, a lot of data set. Yeah. You want to visualize the way you, you envision it, right? You envision something, yeah. Then, then you find a way to implement that. Uh, uh, so find something, you are really interested, okay? You are really interested. So oh, that's just something that, that, that mul yeah, yeah. Go ahead, that, go ahead. That, that's something that motivated me, okay? M motivated me uh, in, in implementing. You don't have to be, to do other people are doing, right? Some people are really into sports. Some people are really into maps. Yeah. Uh, so you can, I think you can always find uh, your niche. Okay. Yeah, your niche. Uh, so I, I like uh, you know visualize math. Yeah, it's like this. This one. It's uh, really just the uh, math. This is a, uh, this is a lot of polygons. Okay, that uh, that is being. Uh, Overlap each other, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is also mass, yeah. Um, so this is the uh, uh, fractal, yeah. This is this is a fractal. This is a fractal. So yeah, there are so many beautiful things to, to visualize. Uh, it's a challenge, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is uh, this is a mess. Yeah. Um, yeah. So by doing this, I have to I have uh, to use very complex calculations. Okay. Uh, which I may not, I may not uh, ever encounter in my actual work. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is uh, all my kind of uh, mass uh, visualization. Yes, it's a. Uh, it's more beautiful, <laughs> and uh, this is not the kind of chart in in our enterprise business chart. Okay, but uh, this kind of uh, let's exercise our uh, our brain, our thinking, of uh, our understanding of Tableau. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it, it's really really uh, helpful. Yeah. Okay, I have something here. How to make love in Tableau? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actually, all these are using mass functions to draw this uh, kind of curves. Okay. Yeah. So, L is the uh, this is the function. This is function for O. This is the function for V. This is the function for E. Yeah. Then just draw it uh, uh, on Tableau. Yeah. <sighs> okay, that, that's it. That's um, how I uh, learned Tableau. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So one of the uh, great experiences is to go to the uh, Tableau forum and to solve other people's problems. Yeah, because those are really, those are real 
uh, problem uh, from work, from everybody's work, and uh, sometimes can be very challenging. Yeah, just uh, well, uh, after you have had the uh, uh, mastered the basic skill, okay, of Tableau, uh, if you want to expand your your ability, you know, your skills, then. Mm, but those are the kind of things I do to uh, which help me to go to a different level of uh, of mastering tableau yeah. thank you thank you Alex for all your motivation and inspiration for the tableau community and it has been an honor to have you on disconnect thank you thank you so much Okay, it's my great honor. Okay, thanks, thanks for inviting me. Uh, Perfect. With that, everyone, thanks a lot for joining for the Visconnect session. We'll see you next year. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Have a great, happy new year ahead. And yeah, keep following your passion. Challenge yourself. And yeah, happy to see you next year with another set of our awesome Tableau Zen Masters. And by the way, the Tableau Zen Master nominations are open. The form is open. Just go ahead and recommend some great speakers. Make your list. So with that, thank you. Take care. Be safe. And we'll see you next year. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.